Hey everyone, I was bullied as a kid and I deserved it. And today we are going to be talking about Christopher Columbus Day, aka Indigenous Day, aka Christopher Colon, because that's his real name. And the intro. One of the three ships on Christopher Columbus's voyage was called the Pinta. In Spanish, that means the prostitute. Yes, Christopher Columbus did wreck the Santa Maria. He drove it into coral and then it got wrecked and then he had to swim all the way to the prostitute. Columbus's middle name was Ath. Columbus never even made it to the land we call USA today. What? He actually landed in Mexico and the Caribbean. Do you say Caribbean or do you say Caribbean? Caribbean. When I say Pirates of the Caribbean, it's Pirates of the Caribbean. But if I'm going to the Caribbean, I'm going to the Caribbean. Am I the only one who does that? I'm not going to the Caribbean. First, he landed in the Bahamas, and the Bahamas still celebrate this guy to this day. And he killed thousands of tribe members. Columbus killed thousands of indigenous people because they wouldn't give him gold. The funny thing was, is that they didn't even know what gold was. Columbus was also the owner of hundreds of slaves. In spite of not being citizens, nearly 8,000 native people served in World War I. After that, there was a Citizenship Act that allowed all of those native people to be legal citizens. They also invented popcorn, which I'm very thankful for because popcorn. Ben Franklin actually was inspired to create the Constitution because of the Iroquois Confederacy, which is basically a similar thing for Native people that they had in place. And the big shocking difference between the two is that women were actually allowed to remove people from power if they weren't doing their job correctly. That would be the Iroquois Confederacy, obviously, because why would women know what to do? Nearly 30% of Native people in the U.S. are living below the poverty line. Native people have at least inhabited America for the past 30,000 years. The Navajo language is one of the most complicated language on earth, and so coders, Native coders in World War II spoke that language so they wouldn't get caught. It was pretty amazing. Although this language was retired from battle after the Vietnam War, it was the only code that was never, ever broken. So I don't know why they would retire it. A handful of major cities in the U.S. were actually native villages that became trading posts, and then cities. Examples of these would be Chicago, Kansas City, Pittsburgh. Thank you so much for joining me once again and watching the video all the way through. On this Columbus Day, let's actually call it Indigenous Peoples Day and let's pay our respects and maybe learn something new about that culture. I'm actually going to leave a link where you can donate to a native tribe in the US and show your support. Columbus was actually the person ever. I could actually do a way more violent part two to this um, later, later on if you guys like this video. And I also really encourage you to do some more research on your own about indigenous people and how you can support those communities. A really good friend of mine I should actually have on here to chat about it. Um, he actually goes to the villages and like counsels the boys. It's, it's really cool. There's lots of ways that you could help. And even just their culture is something really interesting so highly suggest that you do that don't forget to follow me on instagram at shia sword girl on OnlyFans. it's completely free go ahead and dm me i'm obsessed with answering my dms it's one of the greatest joys of my life <laughs>
um so go ahead and do all those things thanks again for joining me and don't forget i'm shy sword girl and don't be a bitch i'm shy sword girl i'm shy sword girl i'm shy sword girl and don't be a bitch